Okay. Um, hi, Chris. <laughs> hi. So Chris and I are here today to tell you all a little bit about a panel which we are submitting to South by Southwest. We're really excited about this panel, about this topic, and about potentially um, talking with each other. We talk with each other quite a bit anyway, but we would love to actually have the opportunity to talk on a stage with all of you. So really quickly before we get into what the panel is going to be all about, um, some introductions. So my name is Felicia. I am the co-CEO and co-founder of a startup and a B Corp called She Geeks Out. And She Geeks Out is focused on two pillars. We have a community side and a corporate side, but really our mission is to help organizations understand how to better foster diversity, equity, and inclusion within their organizational culture. And we are also really focused on getting people from underrepresented groups hired into these companies. Um, Chris, who are you? What are you all about? <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris Haig, and um, I run my own diversity, equity, and inclusion consulting business called True Change Associates, and very similar to She Geeks Out, but I really, you know, the business is, is there to help people and organizations move towards transformational change and growth, especially around equity, um, you know, moving to really creating powerful workplaces where everybody is valued um, and everybody is equal. Um, I, I also, I'm also an adjunct professor as well. I teach grad, grad students uh, some of these topics as well. So I love teaching. I love talking about this. And I love that we can, we're submitting a, a panel format because I feel like the best way to have these conversations is a back and forth and learning from each other and just creating that space to yeah. have challenging conversations. Yeah, totally. Because we're definitely not having it where we shouldn't be having these conversations in a vacuum. So on that note as well, it's not just going to be the two of us, although I think we could handle it just fine, but we're going to have a third panelist who sadly is not on this video call with us today, but we have him virtually. So this is our third panelist, Thomas. And Thomas Harwell is actually um, a diversity and inclusion program manager at Google out in the Bay Area. And so Thomas also has been thinking a lot about these topics and lives, breathes, and works in this area, has worked with both of us um, and had conversations around this for quite some time now, and is a lovely human being, although he is here only virtually through his picture right now. But he will have a lot to say, even though he doesn't have anything to say right now. So. <laughs> he has a lot of great things to say. He's <laughs> I'm excited at the possibility of being on a panel with him and you, Felicia. Great. Um, so what is this panel going to be about? Well, so what we're thinking is we would love to talk about how the concepts of power and privilege show up at work and what we can do about that. And so just to kind of kick off our thinking about this topic and why we'd like to talk about it, we're really, we've been inundated with these ideas around privilege and power and who has power and who doesn't have power pretty much on a daily basis at this point. And you know, whether it's talking about the Me Too movement, talking about um, the latest issue in terms of, you know, um, black people getting called out for living their lives. Like there's just a lot of stuff going on in the news, in our culture, in our society these days. There's also stuff that's going on within our work and at our companies and our organizations, but sometimes that doesn't always get called out or recognized as such because it's not super egregious. But we're still very much aware that these issues come up on a daily basis. And we think we can leave it behind when we go to work, but that's actually not the case. And so what we'd love to do with this panel is have a dialogue and have a conversation about why that is the case, that we can't leave this behind. Um, how these ideas around power and privilege do show up at work, whether that's with a performance review or an interaction with somebody else, or even something that's a little bit more um, intense or you know illegal. And, and also think about some action items. And really what we're hoping to do with the conversation is to not just talk about it, but also so brainstorm some ideas as how to address it. Um, and Chris, I know you have talked a lot about these ideas around power and privilege in your work. Um, what have you seen? Because I know you've worked a lot with higher education institutions and nonprofits, whereas on my side and um, on Thomas's side a little bit, we've worked more with corporate institutions. Do you see any like differences in terms of organizations and how they're thinking about this topic and this concept? Well, that's a good question. And I, I guess I would say it depends on the organization, right? Because there are some, sometimes um, people think higher ed is so ahead of the curve, but it really depends on which institution you're talking about and where. And the same for any corporate entity, right? So I think that, and the other thing too, is that each organization is its own 
it's its own being and they have to be examined individually. Mm -hmm. So, but I do think some of the similarities around the growth of this work. So, you know, we say diversity, equity, inclusion in our, in our opening, you know, bios. And a lot of that has to do with the evolution of the language and the thinking around these topics in any industry, you know, so, um, you know, diversity is just simply about numbers and presence and sort of the presence of difference. And, um, and so some organizations are there like, okay, we have like, um, you know, a diverse environment of all identities. And it's important to name their identities that we uh, know and don't know, see, don't see, right? So it includes all of our identities, but also um, the evolution then continues to inclusion. And so it's, we have to go beyond just having the presence of difference and understand that is everybody who's here equally valued. Mm -hmm. And then that equity part, which we both have said that word a couple of times already, that's where the power comes in, power and privilege. And I think a lot of organizations get stuck between going from inclusion to equity because it's, it feels unknown, it feels uncertain. How do we tackle that? Uh, you know, there's a lot of silence and, and fear around privilege, right? That word privilege. And what does that mean as an organization? And how do we, within the sum of our identities, live within that organization? And are we, you know, where is the power? So, um, yeah, I don't know if that answers your question, but that I does. Yeah, well, and then that's, I think that's also part of what we're hoping to really dig. This is not going to be a conversation that will be wrapped up in an hour necessarily, but we'd love to take this opportunity to have this conversation, not just within the three of us and our moderator, but also with all of you at South by Southwest to really start thinking about maybe um, taking away and eliminating some of that silence and that fear of the unknown and really talk about these topics because it's, as we can see from today's world is that we are talking about this stuff more than we ever have really before but we still have a long way to go yeah. so yeah so that's I think it for us we're really excited about this and hopefully you'll pick us yes we have so much to say we have so much to say <laughs> all right thank you